Hey, welcome back. All right. So in here, what I want us to look at is how to submit some user data. So let's say you have a sign up page and you want uh, users to sign up using that page. So how do we go about doing that? So what I want to do is just for the sake of having a link to that page, I'm going to go to my header.blade.php, the one we created as an include. And then right here, instead of help, I'm going to change that to sign up just so I have somewhere to click to go to the sign up page. Okay, so there's a sign up page right there and I'm going to copy the same uh, link here the only thing is I will change that to sign up like so. Okay, so now that we want to create a sign up page, what process do we follow? So the first thing is let's create a view for that page. So I'm going to go to uh, web.php, the one in the routes folder, and I want to create a route for web.php. Okay, now since I know I'm going to create a controller as well, uh, I'm going to just duplicate this one, which has user controller. And here I'm just going to say sign up controller like this. And the first uh, function I'm going to create there will be, um, I don't know, it can be index, it can be save data, it can be anything you want, but just for the sake of consistency, I'll leave it with index there. And then instead of user, and by the way, you don't need this slash here. It's just that I was following the convention here for the home page. but uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if it can work without that. Okay, so let's do that. So sign up will lead us to the sign up class and then the index function. So the only thing missing here, since we have a route for sign up, is the controller because we are telling it to go there instead. So let's create a controller, shall we? Let's go back to our command prompt. Let me clear the page. CLS, there we go. Okay, so here I want to use artisan. I'm already in my folder, so I'm going to say PHP artisan make full colon controller and what will be the controller name it's going to be sign up controller like so enter okay so we are done with that part it's created successfully so if i come here now i have a sign up controller quite neat yeah so now let's create our public function called index. Okay, let's do that. So maybe you're the type that puts the curly bracket here. Regardless, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to match what's already there. So there we go. Okay, so public function index. So I will echo here and just say from controller. Just so we know things are working fine. So let me come back here now and I will put sign up at the very end here. And just say sign up, enter. Okay, so now we get an error. So it's saying illuminate contract container. Oh, that is actually not useful information. The useful information is this part right here. So it says target class sign up controller does not exist. But we know it exists, right? So why can't it find it? Well, like I told you last time, you must include your class right here. Otherwise, it won't find it. So let me duplicate this, and then I can change that to sign up controller. So sign up. I don't even see what I'm typing here. Okay, there we go. So sign up controller. So since we've included it there, it will find it now so let's try one more time and there we go we have from controller now remember that we don't have a view for the sign up page yet okay so let me go to the sign up controller there we are 
So right here, I wanted to create a view instead of echoing this text. So I'm just going to say return a view, yeah? So what view exactly are we returning? We're going to call our view sign up like so. And that's about it. Now, if we try to run this, we will definitely get an error because it's going to say view sign up not found. So how do we solve that? By creating the view. So let me come to resources. That's where the views are. And then right here, I'm going to say inside the views folder, right click, new file, and this one will be our sign up page. Now, because I want to use some blade in there, I'm just going to say sign up dot blade dot php. I almost say dot com for a second there. <laughs> so there we go. So now we have a sign up page. So let me put some HTML in here for a second and just give it a title of sign up like that. And then uh, we can put some goodies in here. So let me just refresh just to see that we have something. Okay, so we do have a sign up page. Now in here, I just want to create a form of some kind so we can uh, do something with it. I'll put an input. This one will be of type text because I want the person to be able to sign up. So we're going to say email. Yes, we'll use an email. And then let's add a placeholder of email. Ooh. Email, not email. And let's give it a break tag. Duplicate that, duplicate again, or maybe not too far. Duplicate once. And then now we have another input of type submit. We don't need a name for this one. We need a value. A value of sign up like a thought. Mm -hmm. And then, um, wait, wait a minute. This one will be password. It'll be text since we are signing up. And there we go. Password. Like that. I'll just put two of these here, like so. Okay, so let's give these guys some classes. So for example, this one class can be a text box so that we can style it, yes? This one class, let's try BTN, short for button, like so. Okay, so I think uh, we are good to go. Mm -hmm. But here we need a method of a post. Okay, okie dokie. So let's see how our thing looks like now. So we have a little something there, but uh, it doesn't look very nice. So what I will do is just add a link in here to my CSS file. So I'm going to say link, and the link is to the style sheet. And of course, I will use blade there. I'll say URL, open close bracket, inverted, co or inverted comma, uh what's that css slash main dot css all right so i have my css file there but it doesn't have any styles so let's create some styles in the main dot css so the style i want to create is for the form so i'm just going to say form like so so any form will have this mm -hmm. so yeah uh let's try font family Verdana, uh, font size, I will default it to 13 pixels, like that. And then I'm just going to say uh, width 100%, max width. This way it can shrink uh, according to the screen size, but then I can give it a maximum width so it doesn't go too big. I'll say 500 pixels. And let's add a little bit of padding there, maybe 10 pixels. And then let's add a border. Yes, a border. Solid border, thin, uh, and a light gray. 
that ought to do it. So let me save that and let's see if anything is working. Ah, there we go. But I want it in the center. So because I do have a fixed width, I can do that using margin auto. So let's see that in action. There we go. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, if I come back to my uh, sign up page here, sign up dot blade, I could put an H2 here and just say sign up like that. Or maybe it would be nice to put it in here. Yeah, something like this. Okay, so let's style these two and then we can call it a day. So I'll go back to main.css. So in here, I want to style the form inputs. So I'm going to say form. No, uh, there's a class there called text box. So I'll target that. And then what I'll say is now width, I will say something like uh, 90%, 95%. And then padding 10 pixels, border, solid, thin, the light gray again, and then hmm, what else, what else, what else? Border radius, so it has a corner of some kind, a rounded corners, five pixels, and margin around these things, maybe four pixels. Yeah, that ought to do it. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so they're looking more like uh, input boxes, right? So let's try and put some uh, more here just for the um, button, BTN, yes. So width, let's limit it to 120 pixels. Let's add a border, that's, that's Actually, let's just say border none, like so. And then border radius, that's okay. Margin, that's fine. We don't need a padding though. So what I will do instead, I will add a background color of light. Um, actually, let me just say blue, like so. And then put color itself. Ooh, not columns, but color white like so refresh Ooh, that doesn't look good so i'm going to inspect the element here so i can change the color just click on the inspector here and then i can get it a nice color that i want okay that will do i think i shouldn't have removed the padding that's what's causing the problem so say padding 10 pixels but then i will change my color to that one so let's see what we've got now okay that's looking much better but of course we want a cursor of pointer pointer there we go okay so we are good to go here we have a sign up page very nice and also because we are using blade i want to add let me go, go back to the sign up .php. Right at the top here, I'm just going to add an include. Let's include the header, shall we? Like that. Okay, very good. So once we do that, if I refresh now, yeah, yeah, we have a header. That way we can go to the home page if we want to and then click sign up and come back here. Pretty cool, yes? Now on this one, I would say auto focus. That way, it's always focused there. Okay, so now the styling is done. Let's get back to... The... Okay, so if you don't like these outlines here when the thing is selected, just um, <clears throat> in the CSS here, just say uh, outline none, outline none, like so. And you won't be getting that problem anymore. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I want to do here is to see how we can collect the data from the other side, obviously. So if I go to my sign up controller here, um, you see there's a request here, right? There's a request right there. So what I want to do is 
get uh, the data. Uh, wait a minute here. So this one returns the view of uh, the sign up page, right? But yeah, actually, what I need to do is let me copy that request and put it uh, here and then request like that. Uh, like so. So this one is uh, a hint. This is hinting. This is um, if you know about uh, if you don't know about uh, type hinting, you can check my uh, object oriented programming basics. Uh, I explain what this is. So I'm just telling it that whatever value I add here for request, request is supposed to be of type request. Now request is a class. So I'm just saying what I receive here should be a class request of request here. Okay, so just a formality there. All right, so since we've wasted half this video just doing some normal CSS, let's continue with uh, the rest in the next video.